Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this talk. It is actually the last talk in this platform and then we're gonna migrate to the uh, live exhibition uh, floor and actually Meco Print do have a stand there. Uh, uh, Tobias is the head of print electronics at, at, at Meco Print and he will be telling us about digital health applications mass produced uh, using printed electronics. Uh, so without any further delay, the floor is yours to, to Tobias. Uh, as usual, type in your questions to the audience on the right-hand side. Don't be shy. Uh, there is a delay, so type in them early. As soon as they occur to you, type in them in, because sometimes we don't see them fast enough to, to read them out. Uh, and Tobias, to you, as I said before, uh, two minutes before the end of your talk, I will put, pop my head back in just to give you the heads up, unless you uh, finish earlier than that. So, yeah, the stage is yours. Thank you. Uh, perfect. Thank you, Kasia. Uh... And, and thanks to all of you for, for joining this talk. Uh, it's entitled Stretchable Printed Sensors, Digital Healthcare Solutions in, uh, in Mass Production. So my name is Tobias Holmgorster. I am representing the company Mikoprint, which is based in the northern part of Denmark in, in Northern Europe. Um, so stretchable printed sensors are on the verge of revolutionizing uh, healthcare. So uh, healthcare is seeing a, a, a gradual movement towards many different types of digital solutions using conventional electronics. Uh, so a lot of new applications are popping up pretty much every day. So uh, one digital solution uh, shown here is, is Euromeds. Euromeds is a digital uh, medicine dispensing system, which allows monitoring of, uh, of whether patients are adhering to their medication plan, which obviously has some very profound uh, advantages in regards to ensuring that medicine is, uh, is dispensed properly uh, and the patients are, are getting all the benefits from, from that. So that's just one application, one example of where a digital solution is, is appearing in a more of a conventional kind of, uh, of healthcare solution. At the same time, uh, wearables are bridging the gap towards healthcare uh, devices. Uh, another example uh, of that is shown here, an Apple smartwatch, uh, which is actually able to do an, uh, an ECG uh, measurement. Similarly, uh, Suunto, Garmin, all the other manufacturers of smartwatches are providing more and more advanced solutions to monitor your personal health via a smartwatch or, or similar device. Um, so essentially, fitness trackers are becoming monitors of personal health. Obviously, they're not as, as accurate uh, as, and, and detailed as, as actual healthcare devices, but they're slowly bridging, bridging the, um, the gap towards that. Um, so the next step in this uh, is actually bringing the electronics very, very close to the body. Uh, that's uh, difficult with, with conventional electronics as the body is a, an organic uh, organism. It moves, it stretches. Uh, so in order to actually have electronics very close to the body, you need stretchable sensors um, that offers some new possibilities that are not really seen before. Uh, so one example is BioSerenity, uh, providing an EEG measurement with a, with a helmet where the helmet is, is, uh, is with printed electronics. So basically it's able to, to stretch and follow the movements of the head and measuring the uh, signals from the, from, the, from the brain. So that's just one example as well of stretchable printed sensors. So this is all uh, enabled by hybrid uh, printed electronics, as it's, it's commonly uh, known. So that means that it's actually a, a combination of normal uh, electronics, rigid electronics, uh, and, and stretchable printed sensors. So uh, in that sense, you actually uh, use the, the brain power of, of conventional electron, electronics of microchips uh, that can be reused to... Uh, to apply uh, power and, and the algorithms to a, a sensor which can measure some signals from, from the body, for example. So this is a very, very uh, interesting development. And I'll uh, mention some examples of that uh, today. So essentially, this is all about solving some very big challenges that are ahead of us uh, in, the, in the future. We have a, a growing population uh, which are in need of, uh, of care. And, and without in implementing some smart digital solutions, we will have some challenges in actually being able to, to care for this aging uh, population. So it's a very important development, this uh, digitalization of, uh, of healthcare. 